Hi, I'm Mo from generosity.org and I'm incredibly excited to have Megan Weiss from Smith Playground here uh, to talk about what they're doing and what's coming up uh, in the future in 2015. So thank you so much. Oh, thank for you for having me. We're really excited to be here. Yeah. Uh, so can you just talk a little bit about Smith uh, Playground and just kind of like give everybody the lay of the land? Yeah, so Smith Memorial Playground and Playhouse opened to the public in 1899. It was a pretty wealthy family in Philadelphia at that time, and Richard and Sarah, um, their child had died before they did, so they had a lot of money, and they didn't have mm. any heirs. So um, they decided to leave money and instructions in their will to create a place for children to play. What a so, wonderful gift. It's amazing. It's amazing, and we can't find anything like it really anywhere else in the country, especially any place like it that is still serving children as we have done for the past 115 years. Um, so Richard and Sarah Smith left money and instructions, and this 16,000 square foot playhouse was built in what is now East Fairmount Park. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, it's a very... It's just, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> amazing. Um, it's a very stunning facility. Um, it's full of toys. And we have um, about 220,000 visitors come every year um, to enjoy the space. It's free, it's open to the public, um, the playhouse is open every single day of the year except Mondays, and the playground, which is six and a half acres in Fairmont Park, is open continually except January, February, and March. So it's not open right now, because it's cold out most days. Um, and it's really different from other playgrounds because it's staffed. So um, there are Smith staff who work there just to make sure that everything is peaceful and um, it's, it sets it apart from other you know, municipal play spaces for kids. Yeah. So, so it started with this one family, but I know like over the past hundred years um, and like kind of like under your watch, like what are you trying to focus on for the kids like with your, like, you know, the programming, like how the staff is interacting with yeah. the students? So our yeah. mission has always been uh, to create a place where kids can create their own play. So actually the staff who are there don't really structure what the kids are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to provide space and kind of raw materials for kids to do what they do best, which is play, and to interact with other kids. Um, our audience comes from every single zip code in Philadelphia, and then hundreds of other zip codes in the region, and nationally and internationally. So there's always a very diverse mix of kids who are there. They probably didn't know each other when they arrived, and then they're having a fantastic time going down the slide together I or love that. inventing games. It's really important. It's really important, I think, for the future, really, of our whole society, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if kids can grow up to get along and be creative together when they're, you know, under 10, which is the audience we serve, yeah. that's laying a really strong foundation for their ability to be happy, healthy, and successful adults. Uh, so, I know that you have the Urban Nature Preschool coming up. Can you talk about that? I would love to talk about that. We're so excited. Um, it's a big project, so it's going to take a a while for it to arrive, but here's what's happening. Mm -hmm. There's about 4,000 square feet in Smith's lower level that currently can't be used because it needs repair. So over the past 10 years, we have made a lot of capital improvements to the facility. There's still mm -hmm. a lot of work to be done in the Playhouse um, just to fulfill all the things on our wish list for, mm -hmm. for capital improvements. Um, when we make these improvements, all of this space in the lower level um, will be available for programming. So we were looking at um, what we could do that would provide a new service to families in Philadelphia in addition mm -hmm. to what we currently do and which wouldn't interfere with what we currently do. Um, so we started talking to partners. Um, our, our partner in this project is DeVacy, which is the Delaware Valley mm -hmm. Association for the Education of Young Children. They're the expert on early childhood education and helping raise standards for early childhood education in the region. Um, so we're working with them to create a preschool for kids three to five. It'll be full day, full year. We hope that lots of families who live nearby in North Philadelphia, we're right adjacent to the Strawberry Mansion neighborhood, we hope that mm -hmm. lots of those families will come and um, attend the school. Um, it'll be a tuition bearing school um, and it will uh, use the natural space that we have, the green setting, as kind of the inspiration and the driver for the curriculum. So oh, kids will spend cool. lots of time outside. Um, we're in the most beautiful place in Fairmount Park. We're right along the Boxers Trail. Mm -hmm. So there are just, you know, hundreds and hundreds of acres of natural resources basically mm -hmm. at our doorstep. Um, so there will be classrooms inside the building, but the idea is to really use our green space 
as the driver for the school. That's fabulous to have. It's really exciting. So we've started raising money to plan how the school might function, and Mm -hmm. then we have to raise capital dollars to actually do the improvements to the building. Okay. So it's going to be a few years, but Mm -hmm. um, we are not aware of a school like this, a nature preschool, right in an urban community, because while we're in Fairmont Park, we're a third of a mile from North from Florida. yeah, from a lot so, of residences you know, and urban um, uh, nature preschools tend to be popular in suburban and rural areas. Mm-hmm. Um, so this will really be a first, and we're inspired by the Schuylkill Nature Center up in Roxboro, which okay. just last year started a nature preschool. So we're really excited about what they're doing and um, eager to learn from what they're doing. Oh, that's so great. Um, well, actually, I think I think that's all of our time. That just that flew be. by. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, but I'm so excited about that. Uh, these kinds of resources, especially in Philly, where you know, like education is maybe not like the best thing right now. But like having new resources for kids this in the will city. This a great start. Yeah. For so many kids. Yeah. So we're very excited to bring this new level of service to families at Smith. Uh, we really look forward to hearing more about it. Great. So, well, great. We'll, we'll share all this information and see how people can like either give or get involved in some way. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking You're the welcome. time out. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to talk about Smith. Great. Cool. Thanks. Bye bye.